What if I told you there's a secret YouTube consultant helping creators to make millions? He's helped channels big and small implement monetization strategies hardly anyone is doing and even fewer are doing right. I think, I think he's talking about me. And that man is a socially awkward grown adult that still collects children's trading cards. Yep, he's definitely talking about me. Ahoy, I'm Dylan Frost. I'm a content creator, and in the last nine years, I've done over $62 million in sales with my content. But more importantly, over the years, I've partnered with or consulted for many other creators, most of them YouTubers, who implemented my monetization strategies and earned tens of millions of dollars themselves. I've launched this channel to teach these monetization strategies for free. Why? because I'll make way more money teaching this information for free than I'd ever make selling it. And if it's not obvious to you why that is, then this is definitely a channel where you're going to learn a lot about monetizing your content. And honestly, it drives me crazy that there are so many content creators out there that are only making a tiny fraction of what they could be earning if they just did a few things differently. And I'm going to show you a few of those things today. Very simple tactics that can make you a lot of money, even if you're only getting a thousand views or less per video. So if you're a content creator or you want to become one, this might be the most important video you ever watch. Most important video ever, Dylan. That's incredibly pompous of you. Uh, all right, okay, you're right. The most important video anyone could ever watch is... Chocolate rain. Yeah, can't compete with that, so second most important video you ever watched then. Well, let's get into it. Okay, so here is a list of the five most common monetization methods for creators. If you are a creator or want to be, it's very likely that one of these five things or a combination of them is how you make money. Ad revenue, merch, sponsorships, affiliate revenue, and selling your own products and services. But these five methods are not created equal. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and scratch two off this list because they suck. Ad revenue and merch. The only way you're going to make a decent amount of money from ad revenue or merch is to create really, really popular content. Content that gets a bajillion views. And notice I didn't say good content just popular and that's really hard to do and unrealistic you've got to be like logan paul to make big money from ad revenue and merch and who wants to be like logan paul which brings us to the three best ways of making money as a creator and you know what i'm gonna reorder this list from most profitable to least profitable there we go much better. Today, we're going to be focused on making money with your own products and services. It's the most profitable monetization strategy, and it's not close. It's also the best way to make a lot of money without needing a lot of views, but you probably already knew that. The thing is though, most people doing this strategy are doing it completely wrong. Even big name, really popular creators do this part wrong. People that are way more popular than me but haven't made nearly as much money as me. Yeah, but uh, do those creators have a unibrow as thick as yours? But I, but I shave it, I, sh I do. Here is a pretty common example of the wrong way people do this monetization strategy. A content creator will be like, Ah, I have an idea. I will create a course. I will then list that course for sale. Please don't say Udemy or Skillshare. Please don't say Udemy or Skillshare. On my website. Oh, thank God. Or maybe I'll put it on Skillshare or Udemy. No! And then I will tell people about it on my channel and they'll go by and I'll be a millionaire. Yeah, except that doesn't work. You'll sell a few that way, sure. But the problem isn't where you list it for sale. The problem is that you listed it for sale at all. Wait, what? How am I supposed to sell my product or service if I don't list it for sale? I'm glad you asked. The answer is this ancient secret technique called marketing. Marketing. But more precisely, marketing that uses consumer psychology techniques. It works like this. When you list a product or service for sale publicly, the first thing that people do is look at the price. Even if you have this really long sales page that lists all the amazing benefits and features of your product, testimonials and all that good stuff, with the price all the way down at the bottom of the page, 90% of the people that go to that page are gonna go straight to the bottom of it 
to look at the price. And then they're gonna go back to the top and start reading. Now here's why that's bad for you trying to sell the product. And it has a lot to do with the way our brains work. When someone knows the price of a product at the very start, their brains are then working to justify that price with all the information they read, see, or hear afterwards. Their brains are now working more skeptically and analytically, and that's bad news for you. But if you force the order to be different, you can force people's brains to behave positively instead of skeptically. Like this. Imagine if instead of listing your product or service for sale on your website with the price public and visible, instead, you just had a video. A video where the ability to fast forward was disabled. And in this video, you go over the features and benefits of your product, the amazing outcomes people would receive if they were to use it. And what this does is make people aware of all the benefits of your product before they know the price, which makes them aware of how valuable your product is before they know the price. And because they don't know what the price is yet, they aren't trying to justify a price. Instead, they're focused on the value. And if you explained your product well, then the person will expect your product to be more expensive than it actually is when you do ultimately reveal the price. And when that happens, they now think, wow, what a great deal. I thought it was gonna be more expensive. So now they're in a positive mindset. They already know your product is valuable. They aren't trying to justify that price. This psychological technique is called price anchoring, and there are many, many other ways to use this technique. But if you start implementing only this one technique, just like I've explained and nothing else, you'll see the sales of your product skyrocket. 2x, 10x, and when you combine it with this next technique I'm about to show you, that's when you can see as much as 100x increases in your sales. That technique is scarcity and it works like this when something is always available for sale it gives people the ability to say things like i don't need this now i'll buy it when i'm ready and then they just forget about your product and never return but when your product is limited or scarce in some way either in quantity or if it has a deadline to purchase it by or else it's going to go away this increases sales exponentially because it forces people to make a buying decision now oh Another cool thing about scarcity, if you understand basic supply and demand, when the supply of something is low, AKA it is scarce, the price that people are willing to pay for that thing goes up. Okay, price anchoring and scarcity are just two consumer psychology techniques. There are many, many more. And the more of them that you can add into your marketing, the more you can massively grow your sales and conversions of whatever it is you're selling. I'm gonna be teaching all these consumer psychology techniques and practical ways you can use them to make more money as a creator on this channel. So like and subscribe or something, I don't know, whatever. And I'll just see you in the next one.